Hats off and kudos to the Queens of the Caribbean. They are unquestionably the Queens, not only of the Caribbean, but of the entire female women's of volleyball in general. Selección Femenina de Voleibol de la República Dominicana. Las Reinas del Caribe. And we'll talk about them right after this message. Welcome back to Dominican Rendezvous. Thank you for tuning in and taking a peek at the channel today. I do appreciate you. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, like, share uh, the content of this uh, particular channel, Dominican Rendezvous. I do thank you. And by all means, feel free to comment uh, as soon as you can during or after the video. That is appreciated too. A few years ago, I made a video here on Dominican Rendezvous. And I talked about the uh, Reinas del Caribe, the Queens of the Caribbean, the women's uh, volleyball team in the Dominican Republic. And I praised them and gave them accolades. And again today, I'll do the same. And I just felt that I needed to do a follow-up and uh, spread a little bit more love about these women and this super team. They have accomplished a lot over the past few years. They have accomplished a lot this year uh, being champions that they are and I just wanted to you know give kudos to to them as much as I could in this particular video in this channel today to call them Queens is a well-deserved title and to be frank they in my opinion are kick butt they are true representatives of the Dominican Republic of the Dominican Republic spirit the, the energy of the Dominican Republic and for the sports world in general, I think they are very good representatives as well. When they raise the bandera, the, the Dominican flag, you can be sure of their proud representation of their country, the Dominican Republic, not only at home, but also abroad. Now, when I say that they are kick butt, you can readily see this by the number of tournaments that they have uh, competed in and in fact they have actually won. It's an, it's an incredible, incredible run. Uh, they recently beat Brazil and got the gold in the uh, Pan American Games. Uh, these young women are exciting to watch and I implore you to take a chance to watch them if you can. Volleyball is more interesting to watch than you may think and that you may imagine at first. I did, especially when um, I started watching. I said, this is going to be boring or whatever. But actually, it is quite exciting once you get into it. And you watch the players like these who are at really <laughs> at the top of their game. These are, they're real professionals in what they do. What you will come to quickly notice about them and, and about their success is that their success is due to their, I would say, to their discipline. Clearly, they have a love and a respect for each other and their team members. You see, when you see them and how they respect their captain, uh, their captain, uh, Neveria uh, Marte, number seven, and how the captain in turn returns the courtesy to the players, you see that. You see how they communicate well with each other and how well trained they are together and how they, they bond together and on and off the court if you do follow them. In the games that I watched, one of the things that floored me was their super crisp passing, and I am no expert. The passing skills looked amazing to me. Uh, both their underarm and their overarm passing, their blocking, their attacking skills, all of that was just is, is pretty awesome to watch and to, to witness. And lastly, as I said before, you can feel their admiration and their dedication to the sport and to the game. These women are famed around the world. They're known around the world. 
for their sportsmanship, their fair play, their hardworking attitude, and their complete dedication not only to each other, but to the challenges before them as a team. Dominican women and volleyball has a long history. I should say Dominican women's volleyball has a long history and a long history of winners and classy athletes throughout the history. They have represented themselves and the DR well over the years, and even some continue to do so uh, the same in representing the Dominican Republic in other areas of the world and through other areas of interest. And so I tip my hat to these winners. I give them a bow and to their coach, Marco Cuic, who's done a tremendous job in the 20 team members. Long live Las Arenas del Caribe. From me to you, Dominican Rendezvous.